Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I'm going to be taking it all off of my face. Makeup removal. I wanted to do a little skincare makeup y removal video because if you're anything like me and you're doing a bunch of Halloween videos with a lot of like liquid latex and very heavy products on your face, you are really going to want to take care of your skin. So I'm going to show you how I'm removing this look. This video will probably go up before the actual tutorial for this, so don't worry, there will be a tutorial for this look, but I'm going to show you how I take it off because it has has some liquid latex, some fake blood, uh, some really rough gel eyeliner that's... we're going to see how that's going to work. So anyway, I'll just get started. Since this is liquid latex, this is something that you can get off of your face by peeling and you're also going to be better than me in not putting it on your hair too because that's bad. The one thing about liquid latex is it will rip off any hair on your face. So peach fuzz, any like facial hair, anything like that, like it's gonna come off of your face. I'm just going to start off where I have it at the corner and you just kind of gotta <sighs> die. That's what you have to do because that's what this feels like. This is fake blood, not real blood, right here. <sighs> anyway, you can just put that in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> so now you have fake blood all over your hands and you're not anywhere near a sink, so that sucks. Since that's been removed, that is the most painful part of all of this. Hopefully. Hopefully foundation and just like cream color won't be that difficult. So I'm just going to take some of these Studio 35 Beauty cleansing palettes. palettes. I got these from Walgreens. And I'm just going to use that to just kind of go over the rest of my face. You can use an oil-based makeup remover that you have to use with like the extra claws and stuff, but for for me, I personally prefer this because it's just like one fewer step and especially when I have so much makeup on my face, I much prefer to use something a bit simpler. And you are probably going to use multiples of these. Right now I'm finding a little residual liquid latex, so just peel that off of your face if you find any. It's kind of like peeling glue, but like off your face. Okay, so now that I have all of this off my face, I'm going to use a face mask because your skin hurts. It hurts a lot. So I'm using this Pacifica Hot Vegan Probiotic and Spice Rehab Mask. This is for all skin types, but especially stress. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free. And when you're doing makeup like this over and over, your skin is going to be very, very stressed. And I found that this is really good for just soothing the skin and making it feel really good. And and it smells like Rice Krispie Treats, which is wonderful. I'm just going to apply this to my face and just leave it on for however long I feel like it. And it's not like a lot of other face masks where you'll really see it on your skin. I think all of the Pacifica face masks like don't have any like dye or anything in them. So they're all just clear and they'll just make your face look like mildly shiny like you have like lip gloss all over your face so i'm going to just let that sit on my face and i will rinse it off in the shower and i will be right back okay so if you can't tell i just showered my hair is wet but i go to bed with it wet because it kind of makes it extra messy and wavy in the morning like i like it but that is a completely different story so i have two more products that I use at the end of the night just to make my skin feel all nice. And the first one is this Yes to Cucumber Soothing Eye Gel. Now, I don't know if this necessarily perks my eyes up or makes it look all nice and awake or anything, but it has cucumber in it. So especially when you've been wearing a lot of makeup and you've been trying to remove it like I have, it really, 
really makes it feel better. I just kind of put that all around my eye area. And the lotion that I like to use at night is this Pacifica Cactus and Kale Oil-Free Renewal Lotion. This is really nice for combination skin. And it's, again, it's very nice and soothing. It's not too terribly intense. And I just put it on my face before I go to bed. That way my skin isn't too dry and it doesn't overproduce the oils. And that is my evening skincare routine for the days when I've done some pretty intense Halloween spooky makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you on my next one. Hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye!